I am watching the woman filming the animals in their cages. I am watching her much more than I am watching the animals. I wonder if she has a permit for this and what kind of person it might make me. If I went up to her and asked if she would, if she had a permit for this. Her camera is discreet, small but expensive looking, curved in all the right places, as if built for stealthy work. She is either a woman who knows everything about animals or nothing at all. She is studying them or recording a behavior she already knows as true. She is filmed an anteater, and so maybe she knows nothing about animals, because an anteater is a strange intersection of boring and exotic. No one cares about the anteater. She bends down and props her camera on her knees, angling the camera to meet the eyeline of her subject. I want to ask her why she is doing such a thing, why she is filming these animals. I imagine that she might say something about wanting to document patterns of behavior, how anteaters interact with their food, and I imagine a response. I would like to tell her that her filming will come to nothing. Doesn't she know that animals are not real when they are in a zoo, in a cage, being watched? They are as artificial as their invented habitats, the imported furry plant that has no business growing. She is most likely the kind of person that frequents public spaces alone. I imagine her traversing the empty museum halls, enjoying the sound of her unmatched footsteps, or pressing her face against the glass of an aquarium vitrine when no one is watching, hoping she might trespass the barrier into water. I want to tell her that we are the same, that I too like experiencing things alone. But of course, this would ruin the entire arrangement that a connection made would also break the connection. I like the idea of mirror 